Hey, what's up YouTube? Joe again from Grindhouse Grotto. It's been a really long time since I showed everybody my space. I uh, kind of want to do a tour and show everybody some of the new things that I've gotten. Well, I think the last time that I did my tour was maybe about three months ago when I started my channel. And my collection has gotten really big since then. So yeah, so let's go ahead and take a tour. And let me show you all what I got. Alright guys, welcome to the grotto. First thing I want to show everybody is my poster wall. This is where the majority of my posters are. Um, I've added, since the last video, I've added the Sleepaway Camp poster, the Halloween poster, and then the Jaws collection. And then I got another Jaws poster that I couldn't really fit up there. That's in my uh, VHS closet. And then these ones down here were the original ones, all the Living Dead posters. Night of the Living Dead, Dawn of the Dead, and Day of the Dead. And then a couple uh, of my favorite Stephen King posters. Anyways, first up, here's like my uh, favorite VHS tapes. Um, some of my favorite ones. The ones that I watch the most frequently. And some of my collections on the top shelf there. So I got the uh, complete Rocky collection. These are all sealed. Never been opened. Um... I have this uh, Alien set that I had, I have up there, it was sealed when I first got it, but there's a small tear, and I just went ahead and opened it up, because I wanted to look at it anyway, so I opened that up, but for all purposes, it's pretty much brand new. Um, these Nightmare on Elm Street movies are all sealed in my collection, and then you go down here, I got a couple shot glasses, those are all mobsters, so like mob movies. Um, yep. Got a couple uh, Michael Mann films up there. Got Thief, Manhunter, and then Carlito's Way. And then I got the Rambo series. Vampires, Pumpkinhead, Carnival of Souls. A couple more shot glasses, some Sailor Jerry, and then an Ireland shot glass. Um, I'm actually <laughs> Irish. So, uh, it's one of my favorite shot glasses. And then The Cell, The Final Terror, and then Evil Dead 2. So, see, these are some of my favorites. So I put them up there. I change them around from time to time, depending on, you know, if, when I'm in the mood to watch, I'll throw them up there, and then that kind of reminds me to, to watch these instead of forgetting about them in my collection. Then you come over here. Um, see, these are some of my newer ones that I've got. So I got the uh, the Godfather series, 1, 2, and 3. And then these are some newer VHS tapes that I got. Island of Blood, Night Warning. Um, Hospital Massacre, Ghost Dance, Slumber Party Massacre, Horror Planet, House of Death, Piranha 2, The Dormitory Blood, Honeymoon Horror, and then the Hellraiser collection. I kind of use that to prop up the rest of them so they don't fall over. Then you go down here. Um, I've got my James Bond collection. It's pretty much all of them. There's only a few of them that I'm missing. And then some of them that I've got duplicates of, but they're just different versions. Like Thunderball, I've got two copies of that. They're just two different versions. Uh, Moonraker, I've got two copies. Yeah. I've got the Die Hard Trilogy. Really cool. I just got this the other day. It's a box set. So you open it up. Let me pull this out here real quick. So yeah, you pull this out. It's got all the different movies in there. Pretty cool. Put that over there. I got another Godfather. This one is sealed. So I found this on brand new and never opened. It's a nice little display piece. Then behind there is the Terminator collection. I did a review on that. It's got all the different, uh, the James Cameron Terminator films, Terminator 1, Terminator 2. Comes with a nice little booklet and then a uh, making of tape. And then I've got my Terminator series. The Terminator, Terminator 2, 1 and 2, box set, and then Terminator 3. Behind there, I've got the uh, Super Bowl 42. And that is the, uh, I'm sorry, Super Bowl 52. That's the most recent one. You can't really see it very well because it's kind of dark, but let me see if I can put my little light in there. So yeah, Super Bowl 52 between the Eagles and the Patriots. I'm a big Eagles fan. I've been a fan of them for about 12 years now. I've got an Eagles mug. 
And then, yes, I know not everybody's a fan of Michael Vick, but I found this real cheap plaque at my local Goodwill. It's kind of cool. Anyways, so down here is where I watch my VHS tapes. So this TV is really cool because it fits right into my desk. I've got some cotton swabs and some rubbing alcohol. It's kind of what I use to clean my VHS tapes before I add them to my collection because I don't want to, you know, add a really dirty taste to my collection because then it, when you put it in the, uh, the, the VHS player, it might ruin the player. So I go ahead and clean them off before I actually add them to my collection. And what I was watching was the Fly, the original one. So yeah, this is the Vincent Price one. Really cool. This is the uh, camera that I use, a little setup that I use. So just pop this open, and I can I use the tripod. Sometimes I prop it on my desk, and sometimes I kind of expand it out. You know, if I'm doing something sitting down far away, I might have the legs go out farther, so that way you know I can record myself from far away. But for the most part, I do just record from my desk on this little tripod. So let me go ahead and just turn that off. But yeah, it's my, uh, my little office area. It's kind of a mess up there. I got some hats. I got my little poster collection up there. These are all Screen Factory posters for some of the um, collector's editions that I got. I was never really big in buying them, pre-ordering them, so I never really got too many of them. Some of them I pre-ordered and I got, like I got this, uh, I pre-ordered the Silent Night, Deadly Night with the um, action figure. And I pre-ordered the uh, Nightbreed um, collection. And then the Land of the Dead and I think that's it. Yeah, Land of the Dead, Land of the Dead I had pre-ordered. I did pre-order the Dawn of the Dead, but um, it was too late. They already sold out in the posters. And then most recently I ordered the um, People Under Stair separately because I really like that movie a lot. But yeah, that's my little office area. And grab my beer. Here's my DVDs. So we go down here. Now, recently I've actually been picking up a lot of DVDs. Um, I, I said in my previous video that I'm not a big fan of the DVD format. Um, I have a lot more DVDs than I did last time. So I've had some, some new ones in here. Just show you all what I got recently. And then down here. I know it's kind of dark, but... Yep, those are my, that's my DVD collection. Not very much. I do own a PS3, a PS4, and an Xbox One. Um, the PS4 and the Xbox One are in my living room, but I use my PS3 inside my um, grotto. So that's what I use to play my, uh, my Blu-rays. In the living room, I got a 4K player to be able to play my 4K movies. I don't have very many 4K movies, so I kind of leave that out there. But yeah, there's my TV again. Got my PS3 down there. Then I got my uh, region-free Blu-ray player. I've got my Super NES Mini. Got a couple of weights. Been doing a little bit of lifting lately. Just, you know, light light lifting, curls, stuff, things of that nature. Yep. There's my, uh, my Eagles. Super Bowl champions. Pretty cool. Alright, let me turn this light on real quick over here. So I can show you all this. Here's my Alien poster collection. <clears throat> All the different posters. So I got the Prometheus. Is the, it's kind of hard to see unless you're actually looking at it. Because this is a really dark poster. But then you got Alien Resurrection, Alien 3, Aliens... Alien, Alien Covenant, and Prometheus. So they're all in the, um, basically in the order of the story itself, not in the order of the release. So I put Prometheus and Alien Covenant first because they're prequels to the original series. All right. So over here, I've got my, my masks that I purchased. These are all made by Pizzlewell. And I've done reviews on these before. Really good masks. So I got a part four mask. A part eight mask and my newest part five mask. Just awesome mask. I mean, his detail in these things are absolutely incredible. I really did the hell out of them. And then I've got my Friday the 13th posters. So I've got parts one through six over here. And then I've got on the other, on the other side of my bookcase are parts, um, seven through, I think 
10? <laughs> Jason X? Yeah, I think so. And then we go up here. Let's see. We got some shock, some more shock glasses. A Friday the 13th, the series. Tales from the Crip. A little bottle of Jose Cuervo. I thought that was really cool. And then some Back to the Future tapes. These are all in mint condition right there. My Bloody Valentine. Got my Darth Vader. Some more shot glasses. The first Back to the Future. Slumber Party Massacre. Friday the 13th, Part 7. I'm sorry, Part 8. Part 7. Jason Goes to Hell. Jason X. And then the remake. And I don't have a poster for um, Freddy vs. Jason. I'll probably get one here soon. But yeah, there's my... I did a review of this uh, about a month and a half ago. It's the um, Nightmare on Elm Street box set, sealed, never been opened, on DVD. I got my little uh, Star Wars, the original trilogy box set back there on VHS. Got BB-8 kind of sneaking in back there. All right. So up here, I've got my Friday the 13th VHS collection. And this is really cool. I've got all of them on VHS tape. They're all in protective sleeves. Just an awesome... Oh, man, I love the way this looks over here. So I got the perfect shelf for it. I think I paid about $2 for this shelf at the Goodwill. And they display them perfectly. I even had some room here for a couple Terminator action figures that I got. I've got a whole collection of these Terminator action figures. I've been collecting a lot of them from NECA. But I didn't have any room for them, so I got them all boxed away. And these are kind of like my two favorites. The most iconic, the endoskeleton, and then the uh, T eight hundred from the end of Terminator two when he's in the um, when he's in the uh, the plant. It's pretty cool. And then one of my favorite posters, Stallone and Cobra. Awesome movie. I love the hell of that movie. I highly recommend it. All right, so let's go ahead and I'll show you all my Blu ray collection before I move into the closet. So yeah, there's some of my uh, slasher movies here. These are all my slasher movies. Um, I keep adding stuff to them. I'm not going to go ahead and read them all off because we've all seen these before. We yeah, had quite a few. And then I move into my um, Scream Factory Collector's Editions. I don't have very many of them, but... I do got some nice ones, and then there's the Halloween box set, the Hellraiser set, and then these are the uh, Synapse Films, Dario Gento, um, Steelbooks, Tenebre, Phenomenon, Suspiria, and then I just recently bought this today, actually bought this today, and that is the Amityville Horror Trilogy. I was wanting to get this for the longest time, and it's been really expensive, you know, $50, $60 on eBay, but I was really pleased to find this for 30 bucks at Walmart. That was a really nice pickup. And then the It's Alive trilogy, Drag Me to Hell, The Strangers. So we go down to the second row here. Here's a couple more collections, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, my Nightbreed box set, um, The Hills Have Eyes. These are the remake, the remakes, so part one and part two remakes. Then the Nightmare on Elm Street box set. Uh, the Nightmare Remake, the Fly box set, and then these all right here are basically all zombie films. And then you get into here, and these are all my Stephen King films. Um, just a couple more random movies. These are all basically just moving into horror as we go down. Some more horror here. And then we get into kind of like the drama. Um, just... You know, the, just the regular films, drama, basically. Drama, thriller, suspense kind of thing. Got a random Marley in me. I don't know why, that, why it's in here. but and Then I got some you know Marvel movies down here. Then we get some, like, uh, <laughs> it's all mixed in. I, gotta, you know, I kind of got to organize all these. And then I've just gotten new stuff, and I haven't had a chance to put them back in my um, put them in my collection. So like the ones that are sitting up here, I just haven't got a chance to organize them yet. So here's the, are some of my newer ones: <clears throat> the Dark Knight trilogy. And then I forgot to show these over here. These were some more, more recent pickups. So like today, I went out and bought the um, Jurassic Park films on Blu-ray. 
And then a couple other ones that I've recently gotten. Basket case, good one. Damn, it's so dark. So over here we got, I'll just tell you what they are. Um, we got Seven, The Crow, Sleepers, American History X, Reanimator, Heat, The Purge, um, Leatherface, Rocky Horror Picture Show. They're lighting that up there so y'all can see that. All right, so we go down here. Got the James Bond series. I think there's a couple of them that I'm missing, like uh, Skyfall and Spectre. And I think there's a Pierce Brosnan one that I'm missing, a couple Pierce Brosnan ones, but for the most part, I've got them all. I know I'm missing Thunderball. Should be like right over here. But other than that, I'm basically only missing like three or four films, but for the most part, I got all of them. And I absolutely refuse to buy the box set because I don't like having them all in that little tiny case. I like having them all in individual cases. This is kind of like how I like my movies. Um, I got the Bourne films on Blu-ray. I'm going to kind of hold off to get out, to get these in 4K because I feel like right now it's not really worth upgrading. I do have Jason Bourne on 4K. There it is. Cobra. Still need to put that in my collection. Some more Terminator. The Alien films. Love them to death. Lord of the Rings, The Lost Boys, Resident Evil, all my Star Wars films, Underworld. We get some more little like box sets and some random, random films. So that's pretty much all my Blu-rays. Go down here. This is my Star Wars shelf for here, and I got my Friday the Thirteenth uh, ten back there. I didn't really know where to put it, so I just kind of hid it behind all your stuff. But for the most part, this is all Star Wars related stuff. Um, I got these mugs for all the different movies. I've got glasses. I've got a piggy bank, which is actually really full. There's a couple hundred dollars in there. Um, so we're me and my girlfriend are saving for a vacation in October. So I've just been filling this thing up with change. I'm hoping to have about four hundred, five hundred dollars saved up for a vacation. So I'm continually adding to that. Then I've got all my Star Wars VHS tapes. I got a. They never made um, Revenge of the Sith on VHS tapes, so that's why I have that, you know, just stuffed in there. But these are all the um, VHS tapes for all the movies that were made on VHS. One, two, A New Hope, The Empire Strikes Back, and Return of the Jedi. And like I said, they didn't make Revenge of the Sith on VHS tape. And then these are all just random ones. I do have a uh, limited edition Phantom Menace, which is different than the other ones. That's pretty cool. Special Collector's Edition. Yep. Um, over here, I've got my VHS. I'm sorry, um, NES player. And then I have my NES tapes. I got a little Star Wars mug there. Here's a beer that I'm drinking. My SNES Classic box. Um, I got some N64 games there. I got my N64 packed away. My original SNES. These are both the systems that I played on. And like I said, my other video, these are my dog's toys. So I just throw them in here. And he sticks his little head in here and pulls them all out. Um, here's a box full of CDs, some DVDs on this case right here. Down at the bottom shelf is just random stuff, some po uh, some magazines. I think there's more CDs in here. Yeah, just tons of CDs. And then I got a couple, a couple James Bond VHS tapes here. I'm gathering up some more James Bond tapes that can sell us a lot. But anyways, guys, it's my Blu-ray collection. Now, we're going to move into my VHS collection, which is a whole other thing in itself. So all these boxes down here are basically movies that I'm getting. I'm trying to sell. So I'm going to be doing a flash sale here on Facebook. Um, probably not this weekend, but next weekend I'm going to be doing it. So I got some really good stuff here. But yeah, I'm going to be selling all this stuff, all in these boxes here. These are not part of my collection. These are just all you know duplicates and things that I want to sell. Another box down here full of goodies. I'm going to sell some more down here. All right. So up top, these are all some of my favorites. Got them all displayed up here. Really cool stuff here. Oh, let's see. The Mermaid. This is the band cover art right here. Got the Lost World. 
I think the hell out of that. I got the Mighty Duck films, all sealed, never been opened. I got Fantasia, never been opened. Um, Night of the Living Dead, two copies of that. Dawn of the Dead, this is a collector's edition, and then I got another version of it. Day of the Dead, and then Scarface, really good films. Go down here, and here's some more of my like comedy slash drama films. I'm not going to go through all of them, but you get the gist. I do have opened versions of these, so I like these so much that I bought sealed for versions, and then I bought, you know, versions that I can open up and watch. They were, these ones were really cheap, so I figured, what the hell. Um, yeah, there's some rows in the back of these. Some really good films there. Now we move down here, and we have my sci-fi, and yeah, basically my sci-fi collection. So like I said, there's more rows back here, so if you go back there, you can see there's like several rows. I've got a lot of movies here. That is a really good copy of Blade Runner, the original ones. Um, still sealed, never been opened. Um, I've got all the Star Wars films. Like I said, these are all just kind of mixed in. I got some more Star Wars and um, Star Trek in the back. Star Wars here. These are like sealed copies, whereas the ones over there were opened. I've got all the Alien films back there. These are all like creature feature films. So that's why they're over here. Really good films here. Some of them I haven't had a chance to watch. I still haven't had a chance to watch these rat films. Um, Killer Rats, Rodents, The Rats. Then we go down here. Here are my action films. They are slammed in there. I got so many of them. It's ridiculous. There's got to be about four rows in there. So basically this whole shelf right here is probably about 200 movies. I'm estimating. Like I said, there's, well, probably not 200, maybe like 150. But still, there's a lot in there. Really good stuff in here. Then we move down here, and these are all my horror films. So we got some good ones in there. Got a couple duplicates in there, like on Urban Legend or Urban Legend. I'll probably pull this one out and sell that one. Let me just slide some of these over so you all can see what's on our on the other side of this. Some really good stuff here. For all you horror hounds. Let me kind of just slide these over here. So you all can see. Tremors, Tremors 2, Tremors 3. I got a couple Halloweens in there. The Ring, Ghost of Mars. Night Flyers. Wrong turn. And then I got some more here. And then these are all just some collections here. Casino, Pearl Harbor, Titanic, Saving Private Ryan, Seal Brave, uh, Seal Brave Heart, Green Mile. Really good stuff there. But anyways, guys, that is my collection. As you can see, let me go ahead and just give a kind of a wide view here. As you can see, my VHS collection has uh, has gotten gotten ridiculous. I've got a lot of tapes. I've got a lot I want to get rid of. So yeah, guys, that is pretty much it. That is my VHS collection. Let me show you all these posters I got here. Now these ones I didn't have a spot on my wall for them, but I got the um, the remake of Night of the Living Dead, and then I love that poster right there, Jaws two. I actually enjoy that more than the original post R for it. Then back there, I got some some of my little t-shirt collection. I've got several you know horror related t-shirts. But anyways, guys, that is the tour of the grotto. Since I've gotten all this new stuff, it's just crazy how much I've uh, I've gathered over the span of a few months. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, take it easy.